Right, so first off, what's your name? My name's Alison. And what do you do for a living? I teach literacy. Um, I have taught uh, in schools before, but now okay. I'm focusing more on adult um, education. I taught abroad uh, in the Gulf area. Um, that was interesting. But now I've come to the UK and I'm going to focus on adult so, so do you travel around your work and stuff like that? Do you go to different places to help other people? I have done. Uh, I was uh, teaching for a college in Rochdale uh, okay. on a Thursday evening <clears throat> and then I teach here and then if somebody needs cover work, for instance, if one of their staff members is ill. So it's all focused for what you so want. So if, if somebody was want to like see you, like to learn them how to read math, how would they go about in Victoria House and stuff? If somebody wanted to say if somebody to wanted to have a class with you and yeah. um, because they can't read and write and stuff mm -hmm. like that, how do they go about it? They'd have to ask their key worker, yeah? Mm. And uh, she would say come in on a Tuesday. It's really very stress free. Um, but I'm, I'm, I think we have fun. Naomi's been on my class. Um, some people, you know, they just think I, I don't want to do that. You know, they're not forced. It's it's a voluntary thing. Everybody tends to think, and please excuse me, people th tend to think that the dyslexic people are stupid. Mm -hmm. They're not. Einstein was dyslexic. I mean, absolute genius people. And it, it's it's it can it can be helped, as you said. Like I have a couple in my class, and I just make sure that I don't use black on white. Mm -hmm. I use blue writing, or I use cream-colored paper. Yeah. I, give information in short chunks, right. um, you know, so, and it's just, it, it's a shame, well, it's a shame in the past that it's been ignored, but I think there's a greater awareness mm -hmm. now. So as your tutor, I have to find a way of making it more appropriate. There is a lot of um, revisiting, going back to it now, can yeah. you remember what we did, remember, you know, and, and a lot of prompting, and, and it, it, it is through practice. But my job is, I'm not trained in this, I've done a, a little course, but I'm not trained. But what I can do is to make the, sure that learning is more accessible by making sure the lighting is correct, by making sure that the paper is, is user friendly, yeah. by making sure that when I print anything off, I print it off in Arial, because that's an easier font for you and a certain okay. size. The main thing with writing is planning it. Now, if you don't, do you write in block? Capital letters, or do you mix them up? No, I mix everything up. You see, I'm I'm not I'm not clever with you know like you get you get your question marks and you get your dots oh, and punctuation. Yeah, I'm yeah. not good with that. If I write a letter, I don't know where to split the word oh, okay. up or anything like that. Okay. So well, we do we we would do some lessons on. In fact, I've just done a lesson with the class that I'm doing now, mm -hmm. and they've got to identify. You play a game matching, and so it's not. You sit there and I tell you. In fact, the less I do, the more you learn, yeah. as long as my preparation is good. Right. You know,